You know, every time you meet a new person, you hear a sound you've never heard before. Shower thoughts. Hmm. Yeah, I've never thought about that in my shower. <laughs> Don't think that's actually what shower thoughts are. But okay. Then why is it called shower thoughts? Do you is that for actual thinking in the thought shower? When you're in the shower, you have really weird thoughts, and that's a really weird thought. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I, n- I never have weird thoughts in the shower. You I just think are... about washing my hair and my body. Really? Do you... for, for me, like, How showers long... are where I discover who I am as a okay, person. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. See, I'm saying this really weird. Yeah, I don't are you mean exploring it, yourself? I don't mean it in that in that way. But, like, that's where I find the deeper meaning behind it. Ian, please just start it. Yeah, okay. Welcome back to the Generous Podcast. <laughs> I'm Ian Knobloch. I'm Zach Randolph. I am Alejandro Ost. Two Ds? Ostata. Ostata. Did I say Ostata? Yeah. You said Ostata. I tried to say my last name in Spanish, but I realized you don't do that. <laughs> my man's tried to roll his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and today we have a special guest, Mr. Noah Leslie Parker. I hate you. No, what's your middle name again? Brayden. No, what's it actually? It's Brayden. No, That's what's a funny it actually? joke. What did your mom change uh, it to? Yeah, it's a joke. Leslie. It's Leslie. I am a joke. Hey, I'm a bad punch. Hey, we just watched the Joker movie. Yeah, but so, we probably you, shouldn't talk about Zach, that. Zach, have you? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, I, I, saw, saw, I saw the same day you guys watched did it. Did you? Okay. When When did you watch it? Saturday. What time? What time? Uh, 9.45. Uh, I thought we were getting the same showing. No, I, I, I thought... Oh, no, no, no. What time did you watch it? I watched it at 7.15. I yeah. watched We still watched it at 7.15. Yeah. I thought you went to the drive. Oh, yeah, it, it was, was playing at 7.15. At the I time. was. No, I was playing on going to the drive with these guys, but I was like, no, I want to fully immerse myself. I want to have a good experience with this. We had a good experience. Yeah, I was going to say, if I, go, yeah, I, I, say, if I went to the drive-in experience. to watch it, people would have been talking the whole time. You wouldn't have been able to. That's the yeah, thing. Like, we I had a very good experience. Mm-hmm. No problems at all. The one thing I do hate about driving now, they don't have the car speakers. Yeah, I know. That sucks. Really? How do you... You know, you know the speakers radio. outside? Oh, it's just radio? Yeah, it's yeah, just like radio the now. old driver's oh. videos that you just tune your radio to the radio station. Well, no. Those, sucks, those speakers there's, there's were There's usually old speakers radio. outside, and you could use the speakers to listen. But then and you have like a... a so you just use your own system. car radio now. Yeah. Yeah, which I guess sucks for me be because I don't, I don't have yeah. a radio in my truck. My, and my car does... My radio is not the best. Do you think they're high-tech enough to hook up Bluetooth? I just use a Bluetooth speaker. That's too expensive. Uh, no, yeah. there was an option for that. Seriously? Like you can bring uh your own on speaker. I guess that's all set. Oh. But that that still wouldn't be as good. Like I'd rather have like surround sound. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. At an actual well, that's why I liked it. I used to. My dad used to uh, turn on the car radio, and then we put the two speakers on both windows. That was full surround sound. Mm-hmm. That was best. That's awesome. What'd yeah. What do you think of the Joker? Probably shouldn't talk about it. We're not gonna spoil anything. But what do you guys think? Like, rate uh, it from overall, one to ten. I thought it was very interesting, and it was very unique to say the least. I know I loved it just because Joaquin Phoenix did such a different interpretation on yeah. the Joker than they've done in the past, and it's very interesting to see that. I loved it so much, though. It's not my favorite superhero movie. Well, it's not a superhero. Oh, well, exactly. But it's not. It's not my favorite in this genre. But I think it's a very good origin story. Well, the thing with it, it's not really even a superhero movie. It's more a comic book character. These movies, it's more like a drama, in, yeah. in action. It reminded movie. me of, uh, like, remember how dramatic Logan was? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot like Logan. Yeah, it reminded me of that because it was so dramatic. It, it's focused on telling a good story and having good characters instead of just a bunch of action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a video. I'm not spoiling anything by doing an action. What? I mean, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. No, are you yeah, gonna yeah. give your opinion? Yeah, yeah. You should probably talk. Well, you've guys pretty much said it all, but yeah, I liked how they did it, and the fact that Joker doesn't have a backstory kind of adds a neat, like an actual backstory. This isn't canon, but it's pretty interesting take on if Joker did have a backstory. Okay. Yeah. I, I will say this Joker was like terrifying too. Oh yeah. yeah, I was like, it was kind of weird because this was it wasn't a scary movie at all. It was um, uncomfortable. It wasn't to a watch. scary movie, but the entire time I caught myself like feeling so sus- like so much suspense, mm-hmm. like so, something was about to. It happen. reminded me of Get Out. You know what? Like it's, Get Out's Get not out. a scary movie. It's just, like you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. 
it was also to like it was when it was uncomfortable. It was also like an awkward, uncomfortable too. Yeah, just because like the Joker is like a you know, mentally ill person. Imagine taking your date to that movie. Oh, that's <laughs> what I did. <laughs> what do you What do you mean? Imagine? Like, I know you did. No, but what do you well, mean? Well, he gets like, uncomfortable. You just want to want to watch that with your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, I really don't think Riley liked it. <laughs> really? And after, well, I mean, she's just not the type of person to like movies like that. But it was funny because afterwards we were walking out and I saw that she was wearing a Marvel shirt. And I thought that was really <laughs> ironic. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, we should probably move on because Noah has something planned oh, to do. Before we get to that, uh, because we actually listen to some of the comments that people leave, um, this video, the very first video ever doing this, there will actually be timestamps for like certain talking points. Like when we talk about Joker, that'll be a timestamp. If you want to hear Noah's interview, that's a timestamp. Our other topics. Oh dang! Are stamp. we gonna put that in like, the description? Yeah, it'll be all in the description if you want to like go to the certain point, so you don't have to listen to all forty-five to an hour worth. Because I know a lot of people have things to do. That'll be a blast. To Thank you, Lukert, for the suggestion. Yeah. All right. Honestly, Mister Lukert, I know you're listening. Uh, thanks a lot, because you've been giving us a lot of suggestions, and it's really helpful. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, it's doing timestamps, right? Oh, this is Noah's job. Oh, thank time. goodness. Oh, yeah, Can Noah's our go? editor, by the way. Yeah. Ah, and yeah. he actually does a hell of a good job. Yeah. And now that we, we're doing videos where he doesn't have to edit a lot, that's why I kind of gave him this timestamp job. Yeah. It's like just so he can listen to it, like put a timestamp in, done. Yeah, Epic. so before I totally wasn't listening to the entire episode. Were you not? No, I was. Oh, okay. okay. I was going to say, you did a flawless job. Like, I can't tell yeah. any spots. Like, on the, the one that we did in the park, like, that podcast, it was actually uncut about 50, 55 minutes long. And then after we edited it. It's like 43? Yeah, yeah it was like 43, because there was a lot of bad things. But the thing is, you couldn't even tell that it was cut. Yeah, you cut it perfectly. so perfectly. So, round of applause for Noah. Yeah. Okay, that's enough clapping. Yeah, no more for him. <laughs> Can't let him get a big head. Okay, so Noah has come here today because he's doing a interview on us for the school newspaper. Yeah. yeah. And it was our genius idea to do this interview on the podcast. So people I, did, also I didn't learned. even know that there was a school newspaper. Well, no, apparently there was one yes, or last year, but they never did anything. It was, it's online, I think, this year. And it's not guaranteed that the story is going to get in. It's pretty much like I submit it, and they decide if they want to choose oh, it. Well, I mean, it's the Degenerates. Of course it's getting in. It has to get in. It, he, yeah, our homecoming team shouted that out. That was very true. <laughs> Everyone knows about us now. Everyone knows. First Everyone. it was the pastor at our church. <laughs> then it was the entire city of Clearwater hearing it over the loudspeaker at homecoming. Uh, only if we had, like, a, the Hall of Famers do it today. Oh, my gosh. That would have been amazing. So, uh, Noah, let's get right into this interview. Yeah. All right. This is a very, this is a pre-warning because this is probably going to be very rough. This is the first time I've actually interviewed anyone. Yeah, it's fine. But the first Part of question. Cardiff, be quiet. <laughs> they can definitely hear your bird. Yeah, I know. He's loud. It's There's fine. no way I'm editing that out, just so you know. <laughs> it's fine. It's our mascot. Yes. Anyway, continue. Okay. The first question was, when did you start the podcast, and exactly why? Uh, who wants to answer that one? I guess I will. I don't even know, to be so, honest. <laughs> I don't know when it started, but I, I know why. I know so, why I know we either. started last year, junior year. But when? It was, like, at the beginning of the year. No, it was not. Was summer. It was, what? I, no, 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 no. It wasn't at the beginning of the year. It wasn't was... It? I know it was like, before Christmas. It was, it was like... Right before Thanksgiving, I think. That sounds right, yeah. Hmm. I know, so... It was in November, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how it started was... Maybe October. I really don't know. It's somewhere in there. But how it started, at the time, I was really big into podcasts. I was listening to The Basement Yard, to The Misfits. Um, yeah. Hank and... Uh, the, J- the Green Brothers? What was their podcast called? Dear Hank and John? Hank Brothers. Or no, I think it was it wasn't Dear Hank and John. It was something else. But well, their podcast, um, also the Joe Rogan Experience, was listening to him, and I just come up to Alex and like, let's do a podcast. I was like, that sounds totally tubular. Yes, actually, how it went down, 
And then we got Zach into yeah, it. Originally, I wasn't even going to be in it. It was just going to be these two. Yeah. But uh, I just came over one day. And it was the, the day that they were going to do it. Uh huh. And I was like, yeah, I'll be in a podcast. Sure. Wait, when did we record it? Like, where did we record it? It was at your house. It? Yeah, it was yours. Actually, house. At my house. Yeah. stayed the night at your the house. The very first was at yours. That's right. Yeah. 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 I remember that now. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, and that exact same podcast, we came up with the name on podcast. Yeah. After, like, the first 20 minutes was debating what we should name I know. It. I spent, like, I remember. We were talking about our podcast. I was like, I'm yeah. going to come up with a cool name for this. We I spent, like, an entire week. That's my second like question. This. My second question is, like, where did the name come from? Oh, we listened to our first podcast. I called Ian a degenerate. Yeah. And I, was like, like, I was like, you that's degenerate? It. And I was like, wait, new podcast name? Question mark? Because... <laughs> I, I had a couple of names that I thought were very cool. And we all I shot thought down. Clearwater Chronicles was pretty cool. What else did I say? Geek Ink. Geek, yeah, Geek Ink. Ink. Geek Ink. I love that one. We too. all we shot those down so quick. No, you guys were Geek, I hated into that Geek one. Ink at first. Geek but... Ink, I was into, and then I heard Degenerates. Well, Geek Ink, that's the thing is like. It's not ink like squid ink. I know. Like incorporated. No, we but, know that. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Sure. But it's hard to pronounce quickly. Like Geek Ink. Like it sounds, you, you sound like a geek saying it. It That's just what sounds like so you're cool. like geek ink. Geek exactly. Ink. You sound like a geek saying it. It's perfect. Anyway. I like the Degener, so it's a very good name. I, very I guess fitting right. for our personality. I was. I I'll, guess it's all right. You know. Shut up. You <laughs> like it. But, but um, I know that's sarcasm. Yeah. I do find it interesting how we call ourselves the Degenerates when we literally three do nothing like bad. I don't think you know what degenerate means. What do they do? Degenerate means not conforming to society. Do we conform to society? No, no. we do not. Oh, no. High five. <laughs> so that, that, like... Does Noah count as yeah. a degenerate then? I mean... He's a weeb. He's conforming. <laughs> if he fits... He doesn't us. conform to American society, though. Since <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, if he was in Japan, he wouldn't be a de- degenerate. But he's, since in society. he's in America, he is one. Well, I mean, America is the second largest country that watches anime. That is very true. <laughs> so, so, that's not a good argument. He's a half degenerate. He's a degenerate. Yeah, degenerate. Degenerate. What would you rather be, a degenerate or an enerate? Degenerate. Did you? Sounds like you're French. Did you? Did you? Sounds like backwards Jedi. 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 Shut up. You mean Edej? Edej? Edej is backwards Jedi. Sounds like we're speaking Hebrew now. (laughs) Yeah, please stop. (laughs) Before we actually start getting into that. So, no, what's your third question? So, for anyone who's not listening to this podcast right now, it has no idea even really what you guys talk about. What do you talk about? Like, what is your base discussion? Uh, Allie, oh. I'm gonna, I want you to talk about that one. Because you always give the best examples. Dude, I don't even know. We just talked about <laughs> random crap. There you go. That's literally the best <laughs> example. So, yeah, okay. good job. Stories. <laughs> stories. Events. Recent events. Weird dreams. <laughs> that goes in with stories. Yeah, oh. we do talk about politics sometimes. Yeah. So speaking of which, I have something I want to talk about. We, a bit. we are going to talk about politics today. Yeah, a so little I'm bit. Excited. Yeah, Only a little see. bit. Uh, yeah, that's what we just talked about. We're trying to steer away from um school, just school events now. Because whenever we decide to start it, even though I've been saying this for the past shut up ever, school appropriates dropping soon. <laughs> Didn't we set a deadline for that, too? Yeah. At Full Fest, we set at the end of... Hold on. I have it in my calendar. A month, and it's already October 7th. <laughs> October 17th. Oh, we it was in a month. Thursday. We have 10 days. We have 10 days. Which... <laughs> we... Kay. This is going out on Wednesday. So the first school program won't be uploaded no. on the 17th, but there was a good chance it might be recorded. But um, also talking about what's coming up... Is shirt sales. This podcast will be up on Wednesday. So this is a we're telling everyone, get your shirts. Yeah, buy shirts because some people really want them. And if there's only like not a lot of people who buy them, actually, then we're not going to get them. We just have to give the money back. And that's boring. Yeah. We don't want to give money back because we're greedy. (laughs) Ian's greedy. Yeah. Specifically. I'm not even the financial guy. You are. 
that doesn't mean I like I want to keep the money. I'm just in charge of making sure the money is where it's at, like where it belongs. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, where is it at? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that on podcast. Do we have any money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we yeah, have. We like, have okay. I think thirty bucks. Thirty. That's so we have one and bucks. a half shirts. No, you, you have three forms. Sorry. Yeah, it was uh, sixty bucks. It better be sixty, 60 if you have bucks. three forms. I'll beat I was you. Thinking three forms, <laughs> thirty bucks. No, it's sixty bucks now. Good, but nice. um. So next question. Yeah. All right. Was there any inspiration, and if yes, what exactly was it? <laughs> the Misfits. Yeah, oh, yeah, I figured that one, but. Any other ones specifically? Like, what do you mean, like, inspirations? Like, where you got the base idea to even, like, do a podcast and kind of, like, discuss what you discuss. Oh, okay. Uh, so, like, the story aspects where we just talk about random stuff. I got that from the basement yard. Joe Santagago's. Uh... Santagago. Santagado. <laughs> How do you say his last name? Santagado. But, yeah, he does the Walmart videos, like, the people in Walmart. Uh, and he has a podcast where he does it with his family and his friends. And they just talk about random stuff that's happened in their life. They tell funny stories about, like, their Vegas trips, their childhood and stuff. And that's kind of where the story aspects come from. It's like, let's just talk about random stuff. And hopefully people will laugh at, like, our miseries. Yeah. <laughs> what misery? I'm living a pretty good life. I'm not a misery. Yeah, it's like the worst state. <laughs> I was about to, I wanted to say a joke like that. Misery? Oh! Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Next question. question. Is he a misfit? Do you still listen to them? No. No, I, I listen to them like every time they upload a new podcast. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't listened to any podcast. The thing is, I started time. late, so like... I did too. But, like, at the beginning, with their first podcast, all they would talk about is like doing drugs and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. now they they're like getting really ph- philosophical about it. Hmm. I, I they've done that a bit. Like, where are you? How far in are you? Because I'm not that far. Like, I watched all the new ones. Like, I've been watching the new ones. Oh, since, have you like, started from the beginning? Uh, I I didn't watch all of the beginning. I watched or listened to a lot of them at work. Probably like half before thirty. Because I really only listen to them whenever I'm like mowing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So I'm only on like episode 15. Are you like, I'll, I'll throw them on whenever I'm doing homework and stuff too. Okay. Yeah, I don't listen. I just don't have time. Mm-hmm. And when I do watch things, I don't watch listen to podcasts anymore. I always watch like YouTube videos, like movie essay videos. Oh yeah. That's and um, interesting. like Vanity Fair when the directors like shows notes. Like right when me and Alex were waiting outside, I was watching uh the director of the Joker. He was giving directors notes on the opening scenes of direct or Joker. Mm-hmm. And that's what I watch these days. Like you do that during homework and stuff. Yeah, I, I always. A, I just have that stuff on. I always just do something like mind numbing in the background. Oh, yeah. Because like I actually want to watch those videos with full attention, but if I'm doing homework and watching that, like I can't pay attention to both. I'm the exact opposite. They help me focus. Like I, I yeah, can't. I usually multitask. either just I either just play music or a podcast. Usually, mm-hmm. mm. I podcasts just are good to listen to to do homework because it's. The type of thing, because, well, a good podcast, at least, they don't have one topic the entire time. So, basically, you can start listening at any point in the podcast, and you, you'll know exactly what they're talking about. Yeah. And you don't feel like you missed out on anything Exactly. Else, Which yeah. is why we're having timestamps. Yeah. We're organized now. Kind of. Do you have <laughs> any more questions? Uh, there are two more. Okay, hit us. So. Hit us right in the face. Why'd you hit me with your ring? I hate you. That actually hurts. <laughs> okay, Noah, go. Do you have any real big fans who always comment on your videos either on YouTube itself or in real life? We don't want to talk about uh, them. I do. <laughs> there you go, Zach. Uh, go. Well, so... Oh, jeez. This is actually harder than I thought. Well, we, we there's like... Always, like, our friends, our yeah. close friends always comment things. I know Trevor Herdman. Trevor Herdman. He, he always says, uh, uh, yep, for sure. <laughs> That's all he says. Yep, for sure. Yep, for sure. <laughs> yep. Sure. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, there's other people who, like, aren't our really close friends also who listen. 
Those are the comments I really like to see. Have we gotten any of those comments? Yeah, Ryan Vogel listens to all of them. He really wants to be on a podcast. I know you're listening probably, and you'll be on sometime. Last time. We promise. Last time we set a schedule, we had things going on. Um, <laughs> what? I, I, I just said we care for you, Vogel. We're not yeah, we love you. you. Sound like you said be careful, Vogel. Like he was yeah, I thought you him. said that too, and I was like, why? Whoa, Allie. Dude, you don't want to mess with Batman. Okay. Ali, you are so far away from the mic. <laughs> I apologize. I do that. I do that yeah. all the time. But uh so I know. Uh Mr. Lukert obviously oh, yeah. listens a lot and because he's been giving us comments, he's been helping us out a lot. Um he's a big one. Our, a lot of our teachers listen. I know. Do you so, think Mr. Mellon listens? He does. Does, does yeah. Hibbler listen? I don't know. Uh oh. I mean, he might. He's subscribed. Maybe he gives him oh, a yeah. pointer. Oh, Mrs. Mize is subscribed too. Yeah. And Miller. Miller. So is Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Seriously? Kind of. Mrs. Keeling. She subscribed. didn't mean to. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, I went in, me and Trevor went into her room after lunch one day. Oh, he subscribed her? Uh, Cole ran and got on her computer and subscribed. <laughs> so she doesn't know she's subscribed. No, she doesn't. Did Cole hit the bell? I hope. <laughs> just gets random notifications. What is this? <laughs> it will be this video and she just hears her name. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Isn't your mom subscribed, Noah? I'm not actually sure. Noah Parker. Hey, Don't make me say your middle name. It's we need to get all okay. the teachers in the school to subscribe. I'll say, uh, Zach's parents are subscribed. Yeah, my Alex's parents, parents are subscribed. My parents don't have YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> my parents don't really use YouTube either, so... Like, your mom's a teacher. Yeah, she uses, like, YouTube for, I guess, education, but most of the time she... It's educational. No, but most of the time she just uses videos. Like, I mean, not videos, DVDs, yeah. whatever she already has, so... Sounds like a biology teacher. Like, bit, um, Blue Planet or whatever the other one called. Planet Life. Earth. Planet Earth? I have all of those. On yeah. DVD. It's on I used Netflix. to love watching those I as know. a child for some odd reason. No, they're good movies. No, well, I mean, I, like, I, I, mean, I was, I was obsessed with them. Oh, yeah, they're, but they're oh, good. By the way, right now, I'm doing a shout-out. Uh, my boy, Jesse Whitley, okay? I mean, he doesn't have what I would call a YouTube channel. It's really small. He posts on there, but it, he has, like, only four subscribers. But he, he's been working on a video for, like, a, a year now, I think. Maybe a little bit less than a year, but it's been a long time. Like, uh, you guys, I think you've all watched the teacher linebacker videos. Oh, yeah. I watched that recently. Yeah. I watched Jesse's. You watched Jesse's video? Yeah. I watched it in making. All right, like, me, me is, So, like, uh, not everyone's going to like this because, like, a lot of people have a really dry sense of humor. Uh, what? And, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> but if you're really big into memes, go to YouTube, look up Queezy Plays World, Q-U-E-E-Z-Y, Plays World. What does Queezy mean? I don't know, it's it Jesse. Sick. Like, and then, sick uh, then, uh, click on his teacher linebacker video. It's edited, it's hilarious, and you should all watch it. Who are you disagree? My name's Zach Randolph, thanks for listening to my TED Talk. Okay, um, I so, watched the video. Yeah, me too. I hated it Same. so much. <laughs> well, that's because you guys aren't into meme culture. Yeah. Yeah. We're... I don't get meme culture in the first place. Like Exactly. You guys aren't into meme culture. All you do to make a meme <clears throat> is just edit it really crappily and just add in like a bunch of... <laughs> the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, how is that an actual how definition. How is that comedy? I don't understand <laughs> how that's funny. Uh, it is. If, how? If Explain a, it. If a me. comedian came to the Interest Bank Arena and started doing that, he would be booed off stage. Well, yeah, no, no, it's just, just maybe label a beatboxer. <laughs> <laughs> like a medium. I don't know. It, I can't explain meme culture to you. Like, it's honestly, it's not like something that we know why we laugh at it. We just do. We find it funny. But there's no specific reason as to why. It just amuses us, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I'd also like to formally announce that we passed Dostello in subscribers. That's an achievement. Woo! Thank you all to your to our subscribers. And our I followers. do love you, Sam. I do. We love you very much. And but we have 
a whopping three more subscribers than you. So. <laughs> Aren't we at 97? We're at 97. He's at 94. Get us nice. to 100. Yes, Let's please. Go. Our goal for the middle – first week of October, which is – over. Over. God dang it. <laughs> Second week of October is 100 subscribers. Because we've had a very steady growth in the last month. Yeah. yeah. And it's very At impressive. At the beginning of this month, didn't we have 30? At the beginning One of... month ago, we had 45 yeah. subscribers. At the beginning, beginning of September, we had 45. That was four weeks ago. Uh-huh. Five weeks ago, we only had 35. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Five weeks ago, we had 35 subscribers. So, like... I would just like to give credit to where it deserves. Noah, that's when you became our editor. Yeah. Like, no honestly... Clapping. It's a lot better. Thank you, Alex, for that one extra clap. I thought you would need it to help your self confidence. Yeah. Also, can we talk about, <laughs> like we're our, giving him can we talk about our views? <laughs> our view count is ex- it's like, so high now. It's a lot like, higher than it was. Like, every subscriber actually watches our video. Yeah, yeah. Like when we posted, like when we used to post a long time ago, like this one's from five months ago. It has thirty eight views. Which one was that? Is that episode three? Episode three. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was my least favorite podcast. Then episode so four. We had 54, and then Alex Doesn't Understand, which was our highest viewed, has 98, but then uh, Silence is Key got 115. Oh, boy. My titles are working. That's called quick. In the, the full fest episode, the one we, that's only been up for a week, has 76, and uh, I remember within the first 24 hours of it being uploaded, it had, it had about like 50. 50 views. Yeah. And that was all in one. But that's, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, within the first week's the growth period, and then it kind of drops off. Yeah, that's all right though. Yeah, that's that's completely this fine. Is, like it's awesome seeing this but growth. I do believe I we need to throw more arrows into our um, titles. Quick bait, quick because the titles are doing good, but they need more arrows. You and know, what we I mean? should change our cover Big. photo to like the yeah. three of us just having like a surprised face. With our hands to our face. Ali like, style. What? Yeah. what? What is up, guys? <laughs> Ali here. That's how we start every intro oh. now. Yeah, you know, you have one more question. Final question, yes. Then you leave. Yes, then I leave. Forever. Never to return. Good God. riddance. <laughs> we don't even need you as an editor. <laughs> yes, Zach. Actually, wait, actually, Ian, yes, Ian, Ian is you know? our editor in... No. Yeah, Ian <laughs> tried bleeping out one of his f bombs one time, <laughs> and missed. not only did he miss by five seconds, I missed but by the point bleep. Five. No, it was like two seconds, <laughs> but the bleep was so painstakingly loud <laughs> that if you were wearing like Trevor was telling me about this, he had headphones in. Like if you're wearing earbuds or headphones, you're probably kind of deaf now. Because, like, <laughs> I was watching it on my TV. <laughs> And I jumped because I was terrified because I didn't expect it. <laughs> it was loud. So, my like bleep to, was no, much more subtle. I would like to say my timing was perfect because it said the F-bomb. And then everyone was like, whoa! And that's when the beep happened. <laughs> so, like, we Which were reacting to the exactly beep. exactly when we wanted to I know, to but be. everyone reacted to the beep, and that was perfect. Uh, hey, Noah, what's your last question? Please don't leave us. We need you, Noah. <laughs> How do you plan to continue the podcast, especially once you all leave high school? I actually have thought a lot of ideas about this. Let's, I think, let's hear them, Zach. Um, so during the summer after this school year, uh, I feel like we could, like, whenever we get together to record this summer, we could record three or four a day. And if we do that every week or every other week, at the end of the summer, we'll have so many to upload Mm-hmm. That like, Ian like throughout the entire school year, can upload one a week or one every two weeks, and yeah. we'll, he'll still be able to. Question: I will not. I won't be able to do that. Like upload it every. Oh, week. I'm in the navy. Ian's boys. gonna be in the navy. Never mind. Uh, but here's the thing: we're all gonna go our separate ways next year. I think this is what the Misfits do, did for a while too. They just record on Discord. And we, we, could do, we could do that. Schools. We'd have to figure out how to do that, but yeah, we could. But, I mean, it's, it's doable, like, and it's probably, like, our best bet. We just need to learn how to do it. I know that. I know how to do it. It's Well, perfect. You it's can simple teach us. as downloading a free software that's, like, not sketchy. It's called OBS, Open Broadcasting System, I think. Dude, that place is so sketchy. You don't even know what I'm on about. Yes, I do. I use OBS to record my own 
my old gaming videos. Okay, well, it's pretty much just the same thing you just said. Shout out to Ian. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about that one. No, 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 no. Film shenanigans. No, wrong I was going to say IDK games. IDK games. Oh, IDK games. Wow. If you look it up, it is actually gone, so you cannot. What? Oh. That was where the first school appropriate podcast were at. <laughs> what were they called? The school room. The, the school, school room. room. Actually, you, you literally the... just stole the name <laughs> after the basement yard. You literally just stole the basement yard name. Yeah. The school room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's exactly yeah, what, that's what the we did. Degenerates, we copy misfits. misfits, but I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like we we're like, hey guys, it would be really cool if we just did this and changed the name a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I just called Ian a degenerate once, and he was like, hey, name, and then people were like, hey, it's like the misfits, and we're like, oh, well, whoops. crap. <laughs> so, did we answer your question? Kinda. It's actually have multiple ideas. I mean, that one could work. The Discord one could work. I, I believe we all do. Like, w- we would like to continue this after high school. I believe uh, we all are down for Not that. just for the sake of putting stuff on a YouTube channel, but also just so that we can still be friends Yeah, out of high school. Like, oh, yeah, this is a great us, way to uh, keep in touch. And no, I don't I'm, wanna, I'm like, apologizing for not adding you to this group, but us three are literally like the three musketeers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we do a lot together. Yep. So, like... Sure. If... If our friendship, okay, <laughs> I hate you. I'm leaving. I quit. Bye. Okay, I am Zach, Zach Randolph, your new host. Oh, Noah, welcome to the Three Musketeers. Woo. Moving Noah over, has see. been inaugurated <laughs> as a degenerate officially. Um, I mean, not block your host. Oh shoot, I'm I'm sorry for you. <laughs> um, um, I'm Alex Ost. No, I'm Noah Parker. No, no, you're Zach Randolph. Oh, you're Zach I'm Zach Randolph. Randolph. oh, I'm Zach Randolph. Yeah, you're Zach Randolph. I'm the cool guy. Um, oh, he's back. Oh, the old, oh, the old oh, one's back. You have nothing in your fridge. <laughs> <laughs> he in your he's fridge. trying to ransack my, my <laughs> There's fridge. nothing in your fridge, bro. What's wrong with you? Dude, when I said, yep, sure, I didn't mean it as, like, an insult. I meant that because, oh, like, we... we were talking about Trevor's comments earlier, and he was like, yep, <laughs> sure. That's Hell, what I meant. That is the worst timing for that. <laughs> That's, yep, sure. That's why I thought it was... No, you don't know. That's why I did at that time. So you said the most sarcastic thing to agree with me. <laughs> I was using a previous reference. No, right? <laughs> you're so... I hate you. <laughs> I'm Big sorry, Dom. Bud. Big Dom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So well, I know we're definitely going to want to stay in touch. And that's yeah. a good way of doing it. And I think, yeah, this will be a great way. Mainly because our conversations in real life are... We always talk about, like, Theological things, philosophical things. Is that the word? Can you at least pronounce it? <laughs> no. Theological. theological I said theological. Philosophical. Philosophical. That's what I said. <laughs> philosophical. Yeah, I was trying. I said. I said philosophical. Sounds like the the Muppets theme song, like philosophical. Philosophical. Okay. What was that? All the questions you got, Noah? Yes. Okay, you can leave. Yeah, get out. Okay. Call your mom. No, I have to give my ride home. <laughs> no, <I'm not laughs> Is that literally what she told you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, well, Zach offered. <laughs> oh. It was either that or he wouldn't be here. So. Oh. Mm-hmm. Anyway. God, Zach, uh, why'd you pick the short end of the straw? Yeah, I don't know. He needed to, 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 to I don't know. I thought an interview would be good content. Good <laughs> clickbait. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Our title could be something like "We got interviewed by the school?" Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> I like. It. <laughs> I like it. Just put that in my notes for later. So I'm the one that types in the titles and all the tags. Which doing that on the timestamp thing is gonna help me with the tags. Because every video, like I don't after you're done editing them, I don't go back and listen to like get some tags. I'm just like, what can I remember that we talked about in this podcast? Oh, we talked about games, uh, video games, games, this type of game, Board action, game. <laughs> yeah, RPG. I always talk. I always put the tags Ian, Zach, Alex. Then I put Ian Knobloch, Zach Randolph, Alex Ost. Then I put Oz Knobloch, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a ninety tags for each video. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, so each name is just, like, when that person talks? Yeah, and then, they're like, stories, like funny stories, comedy. Those like, are the worst tags ever. No, that's what you do. You just put, you like, as many them. tags as possible, and that's how you, like, get it onto different, like, if someone types in games, just games, 
There's a oh, change. Oh, you're talking about radio. hashtags? Yeah. yeah. The tags. Tags. Oh, they're talking about like the timestamps. No, 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 no. Like no, no. every time a person talked, that'll be no, a timestamp. What I'm talking about, you put a tag when you're uh, publishing a video, you put oh, tags. Oh, I see now, yeah. And if someone types in games, yeah, our video won't come to the very top because it's not a game video. But if I put games and you go to like, let's say page 9,000, it'll be right the there. The second page of Google. <laughs> the second page. <laughs> we don't talk about that. I'm sorry. I should not brought that up. I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> it's a meme. I hate you. <laughs> See, Alex gets it. I only <laughs> know it because it was on a PewDiePie video. That's my <laughs> only. That's the only reason it makes you memes. memes. That's the only meme you do. Yeah, like meme review. <laughs> you know? like, I'll see stuff on Reddit too, just on like the trending page. But like, that's my only source for memes. I don't actively go out and look for them. You know. The only reason I ever know memes is by Zach. He shows them to me, and I laugh. Haha. Yep. Okay. That was the time you say sure you best. I hate you. Ah, oh, <laughs> sure. That was a little late. I apologize. Okay, whatever. What's our next topic? Our next topic is something Zach has been wanting to talk about. And we talked about your dad. Uh, we pulled up the video with your dad outside. Oh, so you guys watched it already? Yeah. I was yeah. going to show you guys. Okay. Uh, so you guys already know about it, but you guys all don't. So... If you've been listening for a while, you've heard us rant in an episode or two. Episode, episode three. three. Oh, okay. Uh, about <laughs> a woman. At least viewed one. A woman named Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. AOC. AOC. No one says AOC. It's quicker. No, it's not. It's AOC. AOC. Okay. Anyway, uh, she's that crazy, like liberal lady and i'm not saying that like i'm not saying that, like all liberals are crazy because there's some that aren't but i'm saying she's a crazy you, liberal Chuck. lady <laughs> that's a compliment he's not crazy he's a beautiful man okay <laughs> no she's crazy like she's the girl who wants to ban gas-based vehicles she wants to build bridges across the oceans Ban cow farts. Okay, what what authority does she have? Like, what? She's, she's, she's a she's senator. A, uh, no, House representative. Or same thing. For for what state? <laughs> uh, New York. No, Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. She's a House of Representatives for. Is Virginia a Democratic state? Yeah. Did not know that. Can I just most say, states on the shores? I like, like to see a bill. Virginia is one of those really Hawaii high, like you think, like America. Uh, That's what she wants states. to get done. Yeah, but the she realized that side. Hawaii is actually um, drifting. Yeah. Okay. All yeah, southern crap. states <laughs> are. All southern. Anyway, states are so uh, there was a there was an AOC rally, uh, and she was just talking, blah blah, like yeah, this is what our country needs because global warming exists and it's bad and it's happening right now. And then she had a Q&A segment, and some some lady, she had an accent. I don't know where she was from. Somewhere in the Middle East, it sounded like. My people. She stood up and was like, everybody, everybody needs to listen, needs to listen. Don't do the accent. Why not? No, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> no, no. I, no, I don't think I should. No, do it. Do it. Helps us get get the better picture. What are you talking about? I'm not going to do it. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, yeah, you do it, then. You're from the Middle East. Yeah, it's not racist if you do it. Hey, everybody, we're going to die. Okay, you're bad at it. Okay, Shut so up. Like two man so anyway, animals. this lady was like, everybody, listen to me, listen to me. The CO2 levels uh, on our like in our world are extremely high, and we only have, what did she say, like six months? Six months to six live. Six months no, to live. She said two. Two? Two months. She said two months until like the world would end because of global warming. No, that's clickbait. Yeah, which is outrageous. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I, no, I, do you have any idea what we're talking about? Not really. It gets better. Okay, okay so this lady, she was saying all this stuff, and uh, any normal human being would be like, yeah, that's not right. But AOC was like, just nodding her head like, like yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Like, she could have told her to shut up or like, no, you're wrong. But no, she was just like, yeah, okay. No, it gets better. Um... So this lady talking was like, I found a solution to lower the CO2 levels on Earth. <laughs> we need to eat babies. 
Why isn't that woman running for president? She should be. I don't, think she's, a, I don't think she's a citizen. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> no, but uh, like, and everyone looks kind of confused at first. They're like, what? And then she's like, no, we need to eat the babies. They have so much She had CO2. a shirt. And then she took off her jacket and revealed a shirt. It said, save the planet, eat the babies. Yeah. <laughs> Did she ever explain why or how eating the babies would actually help climate change? So I think I don't know how it would because yeah, like I think her matter cannot be created or destroyed. So like <laughs> okay. she's not just gonna get rid of the carbon by like <laughs> eating a baby. I think I think her logic is that like humans can rate like CO two also. So if you just eat all the babies, they know less CO two. Question is mark? it. Is she thinking about it from, like, an overpopulation perspective? I don't know, brother. No, she never said like, anything about that. Wait. Okay, so in South America, pr- predominantly in Uruguay, there are still tribes that eat people. Maybe, Maybe she's from there. Maybe he, they're just trying to save the planet. <laughs> Maybe she just wants a snack. We have to take after the tribes in the rainforest that like to eat people. Save the Amazon, eat the babies. Save the Amazon, <laughs> eat the babies. Dude, you guys want to go on a school strike now? A climate strike? <laughs> oh, God. Make a sign that says, save the Amazon, eat the babies? Is the like, Amazon still on fire? Yeah, probably. probably. Oh, but sad. that happened like three weeks ago, so no one cares anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I know, that's that's what sucks about like, Welcome the to news media. cycle today. Because, like, there's actually a... Uh, that's actually, yeah, that's a major thing. That that's a major thing about. that's happening and going what? on What? Right there now. was a shooting yeah. in Kansas City and someone died? We'll talk about it for a few days. But after Next. that, we're going to forget. And we're going to go on well, that's to whatever important There'll probably be another going. shooting somewhere else. Yeah. We're going to talk about America. the shooting in Kansas. <laughs> and then a week this later, we're going to talk about the mass shooting that happened in Detroit. Well, what is it? For the past two weeks, that all they've been talking about is the movie theater in Denver not showing the Joker movie. Yeah. Because of the Batman uh, oh, Dark Knight yeah. Rises. And which, the threats made online. That my dad made know. a really dark joke about this. I oh, told Alex this joke. Is this something I might have to cut out if you say it on the podcast? Uh, I don't think so. But right. So my dad, um, this was at the f- homecoming football game. So this was not appropriate to say in front of a bunch of just people at school. Oh, boy. He's like, if I was the shooter, I would just wait a week after release so everyone kind of forgets about it, then go in. Uh, and like, uh, like the I, I is that like there's some truth to that too because everyone's gonna forget a week yeah, after. That's how our people are. That moment, yeah. the shooter is actually intelligent. Do you think they're listening to our podcast, guys? What if I'm gonna cut? This? What if someone's listening to us right now? They're listening to our podcast. They're like, "That's how I'm gonna do it." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, and you cannot blame the artist, okay? This is all theoretical. Yeah, it's all theoretical. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, eating babies. Yeah, eating babies. This yeah. has been the degenerate. Part. Okay. <laughs> so, um, also about the AOC, uh, we we talked about the New Green Deal before and how that's the thing, but that also leads to uh, the student strikes, the climate strikes happening all across the world right now. Oh yeah. We're led by that girl. I can never remember. Greta. Greta, Greta Thunberg. Thunberg. Greta Thunderbreaker. Like, she's the lead singer for Greta Van Fleet. I literally <laughs> thought that when you that was the first every time thing I hear I Greta, that. yeah, Greta Van Fleet, which but, is honestly a really good band. Very not good gonna band. lie. But uh, during lunch today, when I was at uh, Chicken Pickle, because I got to go there for lunch. Lucky. Um, I've I was been there. while I was while I was eating, I was just looking up stuff like what her people's agendas are. That the sounded people. really racist. The Swedish people? <laughs> the Swedish people. No, the children of today. Okay, God dang it. The children of today? Where are the children of today? Well, I mean, this, the climate strikes are mainly children now. You mean mm-hmm. just like Gen Z? Yeah. Teens. Okay, when you say children, I just imagine okay. like a bunch of five-year-olds so... with picket signs <laughs> marching down the street to Congress. <laughs> Here are what they demand. Their demands are that the New Green Deal gets passed immediately. And you're oh, still no. speaking about Gen Z, like the teenagers. Yeah, this the is the today. I forget what they're called, but the Youth Climate Change like strike. Okay, like this is their organization. Um, protection and restoration of half the world's land and oceans, which I agree with. Partially. Yeah, but that's that's a lot. But that's like impossible to just do. Yeah, I I do believe like 
we still need more That's like the idea of communism. Like, when you think about the idea of communism, you're like, wow, that's perfect. Like, it can't get any better yeah. than this. And then you try doing it. It's like, oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. Uh, so, like, it sounds great on paper. Yeah, um, it's good on paper. Next one is stop deforestation, which I feel like we all agree on that. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Um, Plant trees in India. Here's one I don't know, like, how I feel about. <laughs> and industrial uh, agriculture. Industrial what? agriculture. Yeah, end it. I don't know how I feel about so, that. So, like, you can't use any more tractors or combines. No, that's not industrial agriculture. It's big, yeah. like, big company agriculture. like those uh, steer, the steer farms that have, like, over 2 million uh, heads of cattle. Mm. Like, those big companies. Like meatpacking plants. Yeah, and they're, like, oh. the government gives yeah. them subsidies to, like, be these massive businesses. Okay. And their thing hurt is end giving them subsidies. How do you guys feel about that? Well, how would they get paid? How would they get the funds to do all that then if they don't get subsidies? Alex, you still make money. You don't. Yeah. Do you don't know what subsidies are? It's like government pay, government payments. It's technically just a massive tax write off. People in LA, if they buy an electric car, the government gives them a massive subsidy. Seriously? Yes. I'm moving to L.A. Don't move to L.A. <laughs> the cost of living in L.A. is like Isn't, astronomical. That's why they give you a massive subsidy. Because <laughs> okay. it's so Plus, expensive. Electric cars are just... Nah. Not going to lie. I, I would want an electric car. I would... I would if They're I had cool. one, I would drive it. Yeah. Yeah, but... But like, I'm not going to get one because if you buy an electric car today, it doesn't help the environment so at all. It really doesn't. It's expensive and... Currently, it's not worth Although, it. Although, in the long run, I bet oh, yeah. electric cars they are will a lot be worth it. Yeah. Because you don't have to buy gas. But the thing is, the batteries that they run on today are made, they're powered purely by coal. The energy that's put yeah. into your cars, mm -hmm. coal power. And so they're even worse than actual like gas. Well, we what about is like an actual clean energy source that one can produce enough energy to either charge battery or to fit inside of the battery of a car? I still think it's a genius idea. Why not just have the battery charging as your tires are spinning? It, it can't just. How is that possible? A motor. That's literally how a motor works. Ian's the type of guy who would get like, like an extension cord. And plug it into itself. And no, be like, infinite power. No, okay. <laughs> a motor. As the gears are turning in the motor, it's charging up, right? Yeah, it's but the gears up. can't just turn by themselves. Okay, I guess you do need to start cranking it first. Never mind. That's like old power. <laughs> How about cars. instead of like charging it, you use like solar power to charge the battery itself. Solar so panels. That's just a solar car. Yeah. Yeah. All right, listen. I was, but, but like, that's also very expensive. That, like, yeah, it's expensive. And meat. the materials are way more. And I'm <laughs> assuming it'd be really hard to... Oh, Noah has a very good solution. A very good solution. We need the arc reactor. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I don't know how we're clapping for Nobel this. Nobel Prize winner right there. Yep. Can Dude. you actually make an arc reactor someday? Here's the thing, though. If Marvel was real, yes, there would be chaos, but the world would be a better place. Yeah. The only thing is, Marvel is not real. Yeah, so. The universe literally disappeared for five years. The world would be a better no. place. <laughs> well, I mean, for those five years, there would be no famine, right? I, I saw this one thing on Reddit recently. Did you just click in front of my mic? It said, the <laughs> most unrealistic thing about the MCU is how Scott Lang, an unemployed man who's living in L.A. with an enormous cost of living, lives in, like, uh, this two-story house on the side of the street, but it's like super nice. You live in San Francisco. Oh well, know your Marvel before you start thing. speaking. San Fran, San Fr they're like the exact same. Living city. in California, there, like oh yeah, I mean every place in except for San Diego is expensive. Who wants me to ruin the Marvel movies? <laughs> At least Endgame. Wait, no. what do you mean? What do you like spoil ruin? it? No, not spoil it, but I mean like ruin, everyone dies. No, ruin the probability because. 50% of the universe, yes, but that never says that 50% has to be taken from every single planet. Theoretically, there could be a planet that's completely wiped out while a planet stays 100%. No, it's 50% of every species. Again, that doesn't count every single planet. This is every single species in the universe is split in half. It's not just species, too. I watched the film theory video. Oh, yeah, it's so also... I'm, well, plants it's like, are our species. Oh, okay. Yeah, everything has like living cells. Wait, 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 wait! He got rid of half the plants as well. Mm -hmm. 
anything that has then any why, life. Then why was he like, Thanos he, he did it all because of overpopulation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he did it like, we need more food? Get rid of the people. There's more food. <laughs> but wait, what if we get rid of all the food too? <laughs> Actually, there was, hmm, I remember I talked about that in the film theory episode, but MadPat pretty much said that wouldn't work. We would still use the same amount of resources anyways. Because even though there's um, more food, we will still consume it as much as before. I just, this thought just came to me. You know how the uh, Amazon's on fire right now? Yeah. That's happening right now, what happened to MCU, half the Amazon's gone. Are you saying this is the beginning of the Thanos snap? <laughs> yes! <Bum. laughs> oh, this is where you put it in your editing. Yep. Wait, don't do that, that's copyright. Wait, why did you guys just sing that? <laughs> Edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Believe. No, wouldn't it not be copyright if we just sing it like really high pitched to like off key? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that work sometimes where you just speed it up? I don't know. <laughs> I feel <laughs> like I've seen that on YouTube. Now you guys just sound retarded. <laughs> <laughs> this is being cut out like now. Oh, oh. I, I'm about to end it. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're at 50 we're minutes. We're at 50 minutes, yeah. dude. Oh, wait, wow. really? We, we got through three topics. We talked about Noah's Ooh. interview. We talked about uh, AOC. AOC. And then we talked about Marvel for no, no reason at all. <laughs> oh, okay. And we had a long discussion before the interview even started. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and a long discussion in the, the interview. Like, Noah, get over here so I might clearly pick you up. Ugh. Okay, so... This has been the Degenerates Podcast. I'm Ian Noblon. I'm Zach Randall. I'm Alejandro Astutz. Noah. It didn't work. I'm Noah Parker. Noah Leslie Parker. Noah Brady Thank Parker. you for listening to the Degenerates. We're the Degenerates. Alex, okay, but- one homecoming king.